No one's laughing, however, in Chicago, guys. Mark Tressman is out, although there is nothing yet official from the Bears. Mike Silver, Ian Rappaport both tell us the Bears have relieved their head coach after only two seasons. And Phil Emery, this is key as well. The general manager is also said to be gone. Let's go live to Hallis Hall, where the room is filling up in the auditorium there at Lake Forest, Illinois. But right now, there's, as I mentioned, Stacey Dale, still nothing official to announce. Yeah, Andrew, you know, we're amidst a packed house. I think every media member in the sports world uh, from Chicago is here in this room, this small little room at Hallis Hall with me. Uh, we entered the facility at 930 local time, and essentially we know somebody's going to address the media. We just don't know who that is, uh, and we don't know who the person is. We're expecting perhaps uh, George McCaskey, uh, the chairman, and uh, clearly the brass has made decisions. Uh, Mark Tressman, the head coach, the offensive coordinator, Aaron Cromer, this offense clearly regressed here in 2014. Eight fewer points, 55 fewer yards, more turnovers. Jay Cutler, the quarterback, led the league in giveaways with 24 of them. And the guy who brought Mark Tressman in, Phil Emery, has also been released. He was the first to go. And uh, you, you have to wonder if the contract, the seven-year $126.7 million contract for the quarterback, Jay Cutler, and really no playoff appearances since 2012, under Phil Emery had something to do with it. Uh, what we do know, Andrew, is that there will be a team meeting here in just about 10 minutes. Mark Tressman, the former coach of these players, will address those players, after which we will have access to the players. Uh, the locker room doors will open, and we will chat with them. A as for the state of, of Jay Cutler, you have to imagine – uh, it's, it's obvious here that a new general manager and head coach will determine the fate of, of where he, really he stands with this franchise. All right, Stacey Dales, they're live in Chicago. We will get back there if and when there is a press conference, whether it's George McCaskey from ownership or Ted Phillips from the front office there. Thank you, gentlemen, as we continue. Or thank you, Stacey. These are my gentlemen here. Brian Baldinger, Mike Silver, Steve Weiss. Quick thought on the Bears and their direction. Well, they, they had to give it to Mark Tress. And, we, you know, again, I've talked to some personnel folks. Chris Ballard for Kansas City, who previously was with the Bears, seems like he'd be a leading general manager candidate. Let's not forget in our discussions of the Rooney Rule. They've got to interview some minority candidates here. It's going to be interesting to see which direction they go in head coach because the Jay Cutler issue, he's already now, people are saying, oh, he got another coach. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see if they retain Jay Cutler and if they do, if a coach thinks he could come in well, and fix Cutler. That's what Cutler's job was, to Correct. come in and fix Lovey Smith, Smith for, make remember? him work. And last year, second highest scoring team in the league. But for two years in a row now, this has been the leakiest defense in the yeah. NFL. They've got to fix it. In Chicago, defense plays well. Why Phil Emery is gone, among other reasons, he had a decision to make after last season. Tressman traditionally has won with guys like Rich Gannon. Josh McCown had filled in well. Yeah. Could have kept Josh McCown, brought in a rookie. Could have even delayed the Jay Cutler decision by franchising him. Instead, they gave a very, very restrictive contract from the team perspective. Big money to Jay Cutler. That sealed Are you up. saying buyers beware, Mike? I said, I, that, I said that earlier. But, uh, Jay Cutler is getting paid $15.5 next year by somebody. Yeah. If it isn't the Bears, it'll be by somebody. And what's fascinating is, do the Bears let the new coach and GM decide Jay Cutler's fate, or do they tell those candidates, here's what we're doing with the quarterback?